Hello Paleons and welcome back to my channel. It's that time again where we are going to be taking a step inside fellow players home and having a little bit of a tour around them to see what everyone is creating, what wonderful masterpieces they are. So if you enjoy this sort of content don't forget to like the video and also subscribe but without further ado let's take a look at these homes. Okay, so for our first house, we have come to Moonbelly Starfall's house, and this was inspired by a witchy aesthetic, and I'm already getting those vibes. So far, everything feels a little bit higgledy-piggledy, which is my favorite. So let's get into this. Let's have a look at these details. Look at that. I love this walkway. It's slightly different from the entrances that I've seen so far, and I love the random collection of items. They all work really nicely. She's done a great job picking them. And then over here, we kind of have like a garden set up with a nice seating area. We've got a little table here, the fountain, some more items. It just looks really, really nice. And I also, I haven't touched on this yet, but I love the fact that she's used the teal wallpaper with the stars outside. It looks really nice. I would have never been brave enough to do that, but it works. And then everything kind of over here is more like crafting stuff, but she's managed to fit in the crafting stuff with her aesthetic, so bonus points for that. I'm just gonna delve through here because this is like a whole walkway. It kind of pushes you through and round here. And oh my gosh, I've just figured out what this is. This is a cake party. This is the most cottagecore-esque cake party that I've ever seen. And I absolutely love it. Look at everything. Look at all the details outside. It's like if you were to have a bake-off in a wood or a forest this is what it would look like oh my gosh it's so pretty and you have ref stall as well i'm very jealous very very jealous okay and then back through here because they did just buy the farm and yes we have makeshift items galore of course perfect for the outdoor area oh i love this little setup it's a little bit of symmetry here with the preserving jars and the little plots very cute and then up here we have her gazebo. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. This looks so cozy. Got all the candles here, so it's perfect for a night time. And then we have a little bit of a cake. That's not a cake. <laughs> we have a little bit of pie to enjoy with a little bit of a drink as well. This is so beautiful. The dragon tide ferns are definitely one of my favorite items for accents. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And then did she have anything over here? She did. Oh, we've got the little anvil outside and another little cute area with a little bit of bright colours over here, which is nice. It's nice to see a change. It's nice to have kind of a mix up. And then we do have her crafting tent over here as well, which she's even managed to make look good. So very jealous of that. Let's head inside and see what we've got to offer. Again, through this beautiful entrance. Oh my gosh. Okay, straight away. I love all of the different accent pieces. We've got lots of details here. She's put lots of food down. So she was obviously a very good host, <laughs> offering all of her guests foods and macaroons. Very, very nice. And then through here, we have a little sitting room. Again, beautiful with the details. She's been very clever with her customizations. Like you have the red lamp, the purple sofa, and the red fan yet it all works it really works it's quite like eclectic in the way that it looks i really like that and then back here we have her aquarium which is very fancy very very it's kind of sophisticated show off love it you've got to do it you work hard for those fish so you've got to do it and then back here we have a cozy little kitchen again She's been very smart with her customizations, which, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to take inspiration from that. It just works wonderfully, and I think she's done a fabulous job. We've got details all around the outside as well. So smart. Um, and also, I love when people do this. Use the shelves as like a windowsill. Very, very clever. Great little design tip for you. And then in here, we have the kitchen. The green and the red, I won't lie, is giving me Christmas. <laughs> But I love it nonetheless. I really, really do love it. I love the way this looks. Very kind of rustic, cozy, cottage-esque with all of the stuff hanging from the ceiling. It makes it even more that way. And all of the kind of clutter as well really helps have it that feel beautiful. 
Right, let's see what's back through here. This house is pretty, pretty large. And then we have another kind of seating, relaxed kind of area. And then the bedroom. Stop. Oh my gosh, this is so clever. Okay, I wouldn't have thought of doing this, but you can rotate the wall details, like the shelves and things. So she's made her own like feature wall using the items on the wall. That looks so good. That is so clever. Um, can we all just <laughs> have a minute to appreciate how beautiful that looks? This means that this could be endless. You could come up with so many different designs and they would all look so good. What a great idea. And then we have a little nook in here, like a little sitting area with all the kind of butterfly wallpaper. That looks really nice as well. Overall, this is just feeling very kind of witchy and really like cottage esque I love all of the different colors. Very, very smart, great choices. And it works really nicely. It just feels very, very homely. And I think she's done a wonderful job. Definitely, definitely done a wonderful job. Okay, so just after I finished filming the last tour, Moonbelly just said to me, hey, do you wanna see my second lot? It's a witch's apothecary. And I was like, uh, yes, 100%. So here we are on her witch's apothecary. I love another entrance idea here. Look at this. Look how simple yet effective this is. The different candles, the different foliage. Do you know what would work really nicely with this? The Ravenwood lanterns. Oh my gosh, it would be wonderful. So good at night, so good for creating a witchy kind of aesthetic. Or maybe you could even make it a slightly more elegant. You could do a whole different bunch of things. This is so genius and using the rugs as like stepping stones you know we need those paths and we needed them yesterday but we'll make do okay let's have a look and see what's inside oh wow straight away i love that you can look directly down and see the fireplace that's so cool this bright wallpaper and the contrast of colors yet again hold up what is that item is that an orny plaque maybe for bug catching either way it looks good very witchy and then through here we have our first bedroom gorgeous 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 again i love all of the wall details the colors and things but through here this has really caught my attention the bath and having the little chandelier above it and the wallpaper so simple but so good it works wonderfully and the back oh my gosh i didn't even see this oh my gosh stop she's done it again with the wall pieces it looks like there's a literal tree on the wall. That is so clever. That is one of the most witchiest things I've ever seen. That is perfect. And then we have the lovely window sills as well. So many details here are just amazing. Just trying to give you a full, full kind of look around this area because I don't think you're pretty much gonna, well, I, I hope you do, but I think you're gonna struggle to pick up the level of detail in this place if you if you have the chance definitely come and visit this this looks so good as well I can, i'm looking back through the rooms and i can feel it feels like somewhere that a witch would brew potions which is what she wanted and oh my gosh it looks amazing all of the pots and little jars the barrels of course the barrels we love a barrel do you know what it's missing? It's missing a cauldron. <laughs> we need to have a cauldron in the game. It's so good. And then we hit through here. We have another extension. The cooking stove works wonderfully. We've got a bookshelf, bugs and critters. So good. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad that I've been able to come and show you this because having a heavily themed home is a great way to go if you're struggling for ideas you don't know what to do with your house definitely having it heavily themed give you a good focus that's something that i've always found when i've been decorating it helps inspire you and this is just perfect it's so good i can see why she loves it so much i'm in love with it i don't want to leave but i have to <laughs> so thank you moon belly for not one house but two houses 
Okay, so the next plot we are visiting is by Jackie and as you can see, this is gorgeous already. I'm sure lots of you have this archway and are looking for some inspiration as to how to use it. Well, here you go, this is gorgeous. I love how close she's got her house to the entrance and then everything is really neatly organized here. There's not too much clutter, there's lots of open space, yet it still feels like a pathway and an really nice entrance round to the house. This is just really, really cute. Very cozy. We have a very adorable cow to welcome you to the home, which is always amazing, so we love that. Let's have a look inside and see what is it in this cozy house. Oh my gosh, this is adorable already. Look at this. This is very, very cozy, very quaint. It feels super wholesome, which I love. The level of detail is great again. Everyone is so good at doing this. I love the fact that the trees are coming through the walls. I hope that was intentional, but if it wasn't, it still works really well. But we've got lots of different kind of items on the wall. I love this wallpaper. It is one of my favorites, I think, and it works really nicely with the wood as well, so that's always good. And then through here, we have a kitchen. This looks like it's set up for a cake party, but it still looks really nice. It still looks very cottage core. It still looks really, really cozy. So if you are looking for inspiration as to how to set up for a cake party, this is always a winner. And this is just done in one large room. So you don't have to have lots of different rooms, which cost lots of money. You can just do it in one, which works really nicely. And then through here, I see the pink, the nice pink hallway. And then we have a cozy little dining room. This is adorable. I still haven't got that makeshift item. I really want it, but this is so cute. Just really an adorable little dining room back there. And then I'm gonna head round this way, through here, past the little, the little divider, and we have a cute little bed set up with the plushie on there. That's so adorable. I love putting things on a diagonal, so I love that she's put the bed on a diagonal. And then it obviously leaves room for other things. Like this is so cute as well with the sofas and the little game set up. But this is adorable. This is speaking to me. All of the li little bugs and stuff set up and you've got the nice little shelf and the flowers dotted around. That works really, really nicely. Just little arrangements like this are just so adorable. And then back here we have a little dressing area. Very, very cute. What is going on in here? Oh my gosh, she has an indoor crafting room. Okay, this is very interesting. I've not actually seen an indoor crafting room before. I know someone was talking about, I think it might have been Danny asking me how to make like a aesthetic crafting room. Well, here you go. <laughs> this is so cute. A little kind of garage kind of like workshop area. And then through here, we have a kind of like more of the same sort of thing. So we've got the looms, the modification bench, but you also have a sofa so you can rest after doing all of your hard work. I love it. Very, very nice. I feel like this is hard to make it look good. So she's done a great job of that. And then back through here. Oh, we have a bathroom, a very fancy bathroom. Very, very fancy bathroom. Big, lovely bathtub, lovely curtains, and a seat at the sink. Because your beauty routine must be through the roof. So you need to have a sit down <laughs> whilst you're looking in the mirror and putting on all your creams and stuff. It's so cute. I wouldn't have thought of using that color, the pink with it, but it works really nicely and kind of ties in with the bellflower stuff. Very, very cute. Right, there is a lot of doors back here, so I'm curious to see what's going on back here as well. Oh, wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. This is such a unique way to display your crafting items. I love this. Little circles of jams and circles of seeds and glowworm farms. That's so cute. That's a really neat and organized way to display them. I love it. And then we also have a gazebo here. I like this kind of setup here. What she's done, how she's got the two kind of, or three doors out, and then it's like a second garden back here. And then the gazebo is here. Oh, this is cute. 
This looks like someone that you could have like a sleepover with friends. I don't know why it's giving me that vibe. Maybe it's because of the plushie. It just looks cute and cozy and perfect for like chilling with friends. Maybe that's why it's giving me those vibes. And we have some items at the front as well. These lanterns are so adorable. Some of my favorites. And a nice little fountain. And the farm. I didn't even really pay much attention to the fact that the farms are here, but that works really nicely as well. It just kind of fits in beautifully. And then if you wanted some porch decor ideas as well, we have two. So we have some sofas up here. And then over here we also have another sofa and a little lamp and also a table. But I like what she's done with the bottom around here with the fencing and the different flowers. That works nicely as well. I'm sure she'll want to fill it out over time. But yeah. So there we have it. A really nice cozy home. Despite the fact that this home is quite large, it still feels super like cozy and cottagey and really like wholesome, which I love about it. So Jackie, you've done another wonderful job. Everyone does so well. And this is really, really gorgeous. So thank you for allowing us to tour. Okay, so the next house that I've brought you to is by Void Ness. And this definitely has some unique things that you're gonna wanna remember for when you're decorating. So as you can see, this entrance is pretty different from what we've seen so far. Void Ness has really gone to town with kind of the fencing. Be careful though, because individually placing down the fencing does count towards your kind of item limit. So be careful with that. But I really like this entrance way. I really like the way that she's put down all the little rugs, acting like a path, because obviously we don't have paths for now. This placement with the lights is very interesting. It's kind of like a love heart. And then you have the plushies there. It's very, very cute. Really like that. And then over here, we have one of the most unique farms that I've seen so far. As you can see, they've kind of made a centerpiece going all the way around the fountain with lots and lots of different items. And you've got the, flint, the farming plots and also the apple trees here. And then you kind of lead your way through and then there is a really nice little shrine here, which is so cool. Very unique, very something that I've not seen before. So I really, really do appreciate that. I would love seeing all the different things that people put together is so creative and then over here we kind of have the crafting section slash makeshift section slash outside kind of house because you've got your bed you've got all the cute little kind of makeshift items but it kind of works as like a functional crafting area as well because you've got your DIY table and your modification bench and then I lo also love what she's done here with the chest Putting them around the plants is just really nice. It makes a sort of feature of them. And then if we head over here, you can see she has got all her like preserving jars and glow farms there. There is another unique thing over here, which is kind of like a, a maze kind of, but I really, really like the, the pattern and the design. This must have taken ages to figure out. Why is there a hanging light in the air? Is that, I'm thinking that's a glitch. No, I'm thinking it's intentional. How has she done that? <laughs> I have no idea how that has happened, but she does have a um, <laughs> some lights that are floating. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, but this area is just really nice, and I would love to see when we eventually get it, maybe some foliage around it, maybe some trees. Very nice either way. Another thing that I love that she has done is, can you see? This is a bench, and she's put flowers on it not flowers they're plants they're more plants aren't they um on it and then rotated it around so it looks like kind of like a planter style thing which is really nice and she's used it quite a lot as you can see all the way around here very very nice and a great way to kind of accent the porch that we've got going on which is really nice as well with the shelving the seating area it looks lovely and then I've kind of just focused on doing the outside first of all um, but here we are so here is the kind of cake making area which is so cool so pretty I love how people are making cake areas look aesthetically pleasing which is awesome and she's actually managed to get lights in here as well I'm gonna have to find that out how she's done that and I will let you know how she's done it. Maybe I'll show you in a stream or something. Um, but this looks awesome. I love the foliage again. Big fan of foliage and the lighting here with all the candles and the cakes. Really, really nice. 
and then once you're done with your cake party you can come over here and relax there's even a portaloo which we love to see you can play your game you can chill out on the tables here oh i love the addition of the flowers in the bathtub that's so cute that's definitely something i'm gonna have to steal make note of that folks i want to see flowers in all of your bathtubs Right, I'm gonna head back round the front and we're gonna enter the house and go in through the front door like we should do. I love the different wallpapers as well here. This is really nice. Right, in we go. Oh, wow. Do I, oh my gosh, as if she's... <laughs> who, sorry, this has just caught my attention straight away. As if she's thought to rotate the fans and use them as like a kind of focal point for the entranceway, that is so genius. But look at this area, this is so nice. Using this as well, so she's got like the frames and it makes it's kind of like a focal point with the flat, with the light in it as well, that's so cool. And then the nice green wallpaper here looks really wonderful. We've got like a welcome area, you know, where you come and you chuck off all your coats and things, I love that. And then a nice little seating area as well with the little chopper friend over there as well looking very cute and then through in here wow this is a garden room and a half this puts mine to shame <laughs> i'm gonna have to go back and redo mine how she's got so many plants in here oh my gosh i do not know but this looks so good and the trees poking through as well that they just really really do help I love this. I love the colours as well. The choice of the blues and the greens and the pinks all mixed together is one of my favourite colour palettes in the game, which is very bizarre because I'm not really a kind of colour girly, but yeah, definitely, definitely love that. Right, back through here, we already talked about the amazing doorway. I love that idea. And then we have a contrasting colour palette of blue and red, which I kind of like kind of like red is not normally one of my go-to colors i kind of never been a fan of it but seeing it like this is very very interesting i wonder if over time she's going to keep it this way or try and change up the, the color palette so it all kind of matches but i love the fact that they contrast so please don't and then in there we just have a lovely a lovely focal point of the flowers which flowers should be focal points so that looks wonderful as well and there's a little reading area over here and then some more things um kind of dotted around that kind of all fit with this kind of i would say like oriental style feeling definitely and then through here we have another it kind of continues on with the blue and the red theme but this is definitely more woody very nice and cozy we've got the nice dining table little games area a chapa that has way too much food to eat this is so cute and then through here we have a bar oh my gosh a bar come kitchen i'm gonna say this is so cool or is it a full out actual restaurant this is an actual restaurant oh my gosh okay so you've got the fancy chairs with the food the kind of game over here for when you're bored and you, <laughs> you're in between courses and you need something to do. This is amazing. And then you have games. Oh my gosh. And then you have a dessert section as well. This is so fancy. I love what she's done here. Turning the shells upside down is also very, very clever because they look like lights. They just look like hanging lights there and then I love the addition of the curtain over the doorway so it gives the illusion of there's something else back there but that is just a hallway back there where they prepare all the desserts by the looks of things I love this this is so cool and then you have more tables more decoration very nice it was so very colorful as well and this is very fancy and then the kitchen does look really really functional so many shelves She's managed to get so many things on that wall. I'm very, very impressed at all of the shelves, all of the items. It looks amazing. It does feel like a real kitchen where you would kind of find things to cook. It feels kind of like a teppanyaki restaurant where you have like the chefs right there in front of you. That might not be what she was going for, but I really love that idea if it is. And then if we head back down through here, we have another nice doorway feature loving this doorway feature 
and this is quite cool. I know this is probably super simple and probably people have already thought about this, but if you've got a hallway kind of breaking off into other rooms and you don't wanna put furniture in there because they are very, very narrow, they're very small, then why not just add some shelves as a simple windowsill and just put some little items on that? Works wonderfully, I think. And then what have we got going on through here? This feels like an actual like forest room. This section over here anyway, feels almost a little bit witchy. I love that. And through here, ooh, this is a great use of the Ravenwood furniture into like a dressing area. Love this. It almost feels like Jell's kind of room where he would have people to come and try on their clothes, make alterations. Like I can see someone stood up there waiting to get their fancy dress done for the Bahari ball. That'd be amazing. Right, and then back through here. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is probably one of the best bedrooms I've seen. This is so green. I love this. This is just very me. <laughs> this is very me. I love the addition of the vines over the headboard using those little logs. That's so cute. There's lots and lots of green elements here that I just think are really, really cute. There's just a lot going on, which is definitely my kind of thing. I love the clutter. I love all the different details here. As you can see, we've got the book by the bed. You've got the alarm clock. There's just so much, so much. And then this wall is gorgeous as well, having a nice bright pink wall to contrast all of the green. It's kind of cute. And then through here, we have a bathroom again. Love this bathroom very nice i love that wallpaper it's just so beautiful and it really does work really nicely with the green color as well we've got a lot going on in here and then in here as well <laughs> there's your toilet so at least your toilet has a little bit of privacy back here that's always good to see and there's a book there if you're going to be a little while in the toilet um, there's a book there as well. <laughs> Very well thought through. I won't delve into that too much because we we don't need potty humour on the channel. But yes, this bathroom is, is very nice. Um, I really, really do love the colour palette as well. Okay, just before <laughs> before we find final up here at Void Ness's plot, there is actually a little area that she has decorated, which I'm not sure if people know about. You can actually decorate the top of your gazebo. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I really want a gazebo, but this is just making me want it even more now. Look how adorable this is. It's like a little secret area. This is so cute. Stop it. I love it so much. I want to see everyone decorating the top of their gazebos now. You have to do it. You have to. There we go. Voidness, thank you so much for your very unique tour of this house. I really, really enjoyed it and you've definitely given me some ideas, so thank you for that. Okay, so our next house is by Azen Top and this is the wonderful entrance that we have. Yes, those Raventile stones do take a while to load in, but when they do, it's worth it. Look at all of this nice open area. We've got nice big walkway here. I love that they've lined it with all of these lovely cherry blossoms and the fountains and the golden trees work really, really nicely here. That's for sure. I also love over here, we have a little bit of a marketplace. The actual raven tiles are everywhere. I hate to imagine how much this took to craft, but oh my gosh, they look so good. And then we have like a little market, like a street food kind of cellar every area where you have all of the ovens and all of their own little makeshift areas and stools and the little plushies on the tables. Oh my gosh, how much money must this have taken? But it looks so cute really really nice and then back over here we do have a gazebo which has got some items in not much going on there but we'll have a look around through here as well just have a nice stroll down i know the inside is where there is a lot to see because some of the ideas are very unique that's for sure and then over here we have some more seating area somewhere to eat your cake and then this okay okay it all makes sense now right so inside, as in had, like when I first came and saw this plot, he had a little wedding area, little aisle, and then he said to me he needed to work on it. 
and this is what he means when he worked on it. This is a wedding venue. Now, did I think that I would see this in Palea? No. Did I think that I'd see this in Palea this early on? Definitely not. This is so unique and look how good this looks. It actually really fits perfectly. And then you have the little area where you do the registrar and do the vows. Oh, it's perfect for the gazebo. And I love all of the colors. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's a lot of guests. I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed that if you know that many people, but oh my gosh, I can see it now. I'm gonna walk down the aisle with, with Tish at the moment. That's the person who I'm romancing. It could happen. But yes, this is such a creative idea. I'm just thinking I haven't shown it from this angle. So there we go, just running down the aisle. Don't worry, I'm not a runaway bride, it's okay. So yeah, if you're looking for something very unique and a unique thing to do with the gazebos, here you are, great idea. And then once you're finished with the ceremony, you come over here and you have your celebration dinner and you've got the bar here with lots of cake and macarons, very nice. I love that idea as well. That looks really, really good. Very, very creative. Right, let's head inside. Okay, and then straight away inside, we're greeted with a fountain and this wonderful bird. What a nice way to be to be greeted. And then everything is kind of red and gold. It feels very luxurious. Very, very luxurious. I love it. And then through here, we have another fountain. Oh, I like the fountain uses inside. It's very nice. This one feels a lot more like aquatic and underwater. Very nice. And then through here, we have the kitchen. This kind of looks like it could be used for cake parties. This definitely could be used for cake parties. This is a very cozy setup for a cake party. We were talking about this on stream earlier where we were like, how do you make a cake party area look good? That is potentially one option for you. And then through here we have, what do we have? We have another bar. Hi Venice, are you there to serve us drinks? Hi, welcome, welcome. This looks really cute. And there's Az on top there himself, just chilling out here. And then you have the kind of drink area. You've got all the pantry, the barrels. Oh, this is so cute. Another really, really uni unique idea, especially if maybe you're starting to think about, I kind of want a second plot. Having like a bar or an inn. Oh my gosh, an inn would be so cute. On your second plot would be amazing. Right, let's have a look through here. So we have a lot of fish lining the walls. Gorgeous fireplace area. Quite cozy with the addition of the little seats there. Some more fish. <laughs> and then through here we have a little game area. Not one, but two. And a little gaming room. Oh, this is cool. This is very cool. I like the addition of this. And the skateboard there in case you want to zoom around all of the different rooms. And that's just another way out of the house. This is all very, very nice. And some really, really unique ideas here. Oh, I actually love that. I didn't realize you could stack them like that, but that is really cute. Um, another fireplace this side. This time we've got the continuance of the red and cream. Looks very nice. Lots of walls. And then this is the area that I was talking about before. And then it's dawned on me, this wasn't the wedding area. It's just dawned on me what this is. Um, I think this might be a church but more of like a funeral church. It's like rest in peace to all of the people th that he has loved. So, oh dear, oh dear. Is Tisha's body in here? That's not good. But either way, it's very unique. Um, definitely unique and quite fitting. A little bit dark maybe, but I like it still nonetheless. And then in here we have another kind of Dragonwood themed room, uh, Ravenwood themed room even. Um, and the items kind of look nice, a little games room over here as well. The games room next to the funeral parlor makes makes a lot of sense, but <laughs> we, we uh, appreciate the positivity, the creativity even. It's very interesting, but yes, it's a unique build, that's for sure. Okay, so there we have it. There is Azentop's unique home. 
with some very interesting builds that we definitely haven't seen before. Some interesting takes on things and maybe it's given you some ideas to maybe think outside the box with perhaps a bar, a wedding venue, even a funeral parlor. So there we have it. I hope that was enough inspiration for you in this video. Honestly, some really, really nice, unique, creative builds here. And they're just so fun to look at. I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you again soon. Bye-bye.